and welcome back to Downfall. Now, I changed this around from what I said, what I did last time. So basically, there are multiple, I looked this up and there are multiple endings. There is an ending B, an ending B, ending A, B, I think there's an ending C. There is a golden ending. A golden ending is basically I'm getting points on if I kill or not. I don't think I've technically killed anyone yet. So by refusing the injection, you don't need to be an ass about her, tell her it won't hurt, obviously, you want to be gentle about it, but say you refuse to do it means you don't have the, you don't have the actual killing frenzy that you could go into. So I might do another version of it, we'll see, but only if things change. So this is just a run, I just wanted to know how many endings there were, I didn't look through walkthroughs or anything. I want to try and do this legit, like I do with most of my stuff. Sometimes I might look small because I'm definitely stuck, but most of the time I try and teach with it. So, now we have a dress. Body's gone, I knew she wasn't real. What's this dress still doing here? So we need to go to the doctor, I think. Where is the doctor? I can't remember what floor he's on. Is he on the second floor? <coughs> My friend. Not this one. I hate thunder and lightning. Actually, no, I love thunder and lightning. absolutely love it. I don't like this. Huh? Hello? What was that? Jesus Christ! My mother is crying. <laughs> I laugh as the train passes by. The curves and the cows. We smile as the cucumber is eaten. <laughs> Screaming isn't just planned. Moving. Regurgitating. Repulsing. Worms and incense leave behind our skins. My meat is decaying, while the children with deformed faces dance inside my empty mind. The sun starts to rot as I hear the singing flower pot. Mother ate her child with her sticky and slimy mouth. What? Right. Gonna have to. Hello? Jim Ivy, part of the letter is missing. I miss you. I do. I force myself to hate. Still there, deep in my soul, you live. And through my eyes, every day. You cry. Do I have note one? 
Did I read the first note? I'm gonna have to look back at that some other time and find out if I did have a note one. If I'm collecting letters here, and I've got really vigilant on this. Oh, Jesus Christ. Not funny. Quite nearly six months ago, but men can really do this well. Oh, use it. They are ten pounds a pack. I should put the money in the slot and press the B button. Shit. Nothing. I'm not gonna do that. No, you know what I am. If unless it's something like, oh, you should have saved your money for some other stupid thing, then whatever. Nothing. So let's. Yeah, let's. let's we do have a ten pound note. Use. I think one of the characters smokes. You could get a favor from this. No. No, no! The pack got stuck. Then kick it! Come out, you damn thing! Come out! <laughs> Nothing. If only I had another tenor. Oh, really? Son of a bitch! Nothing. If only I had another tenor. Did you say tenor? Would you say that? You got a five pound note, mate. You got a tenor. You got a twenty. You got you got a fiver. You got a fiver. You got a tenor. The way he says it though sounds weird. Man, I need another tenor. This is the doctor's freaking room. Is this it? Oh, there it is. No doubt. Can you hear that? It's the ticking of the clock. And it's getting louder! Alrighty then. Hello? I got your shit. Didn't I? Hello? How do I get your brain that you wanted? Fuck my life! I've gone around the corridor. I'm scared again. I think he's trying to kill me. Ooh, what's that? What? I thought I heard something. I'm just hearing things. Right, so where the fuck did I go? Okay. So, I need ice. Um. Huh, where should I go for ice? I guess the kitchen? I've just been there though. Fuck it, we'll find out. Right, we have the kitchen key, don't we? Use it. Forgot about this. Blender! Lemon. That's one big blender. No point switching. Oh no, it's empty. Oh, I remember what the blunder's for. Uh, turn on the hob. There's nothing in the pot I should burn. Okay, then rotten pig knife. This pig has been dead for a long time. Okay, I oh, ice pick for ice for the. Right, okay, awesome. I don't like the way that pig's swinging. <laughs> There's a few freezers in here that aren't completely frozen shut. <coughs> Freezer. What are a few freezers in here? Okay. It's already open. Take ice. It's frozen solid. I can't break it with my bare hands. Yes, you can! With the power of ice picking. Huh. I need some kind of vessel. I can't just carry it around in my hands. Why is this thing? Okay. Ooh. I still got a bowl with ice. No item added. Bowl of ice. Sweet. Okay. Hold up, piggy. I think it's dead. Or just thinking. 
I know you're just a pig, but I want to tell you this. Huh, interesting. I screwed up, man. Hmm. Weird. Right. Anyway. That was pretty weird. <laughs> hmm. Wonder what that meant. But I could actually talk to them. Oh, that list just keeps freaking me out. <laughs> so, we need to go to second floor. Yep. Let's do... No, you can't go to the second floor, you idiot. We gotta go to the... Yep, right. My apologies. Need to go to the basement. Right, back in the creepy basement. Right. That's so why I need the brain. I can't just carry it upstairs in my hands. You don't have There's to. There's got to be some way I can deliver it fresh. You can. You can. You can use this. Ugh. Okay. Come on, buddy. We're going for a walk. Ugh. There's a big gaping hole where his brain was. I think there's a creepy thing that happens with this. That that freaks me out. That's really creepy. <laughs> I love psychological horror. You don't need to have this, you know. Hello. Fuck my life. No. You don't need to have jump scares all over the place. You can just be creepy without any of that. I have to go down the stairs. Right, I will meet you guys back in the doctor's room. Unless anything weird happens along the way. I doubt it, but we'll see. Okay, now we're back with the doctor. <laughs> ah, I see you have it. Yep. Quick, give it to me. Give it okay. to me, boy. Alright, chill out. Brand. Is this what you wanted? One fresh human brain. What else could I want? Yes. Now we have a chance. Eradicate the bad, restore the good. Or what's left of it anyway. So oh, Sherman do it already. You can't just plant a dead brain inside her head. You can't just plant a dead brain inside her head. And yet, that is exactly what we'll do. I'll stay and watch just to say told you when this fails. That is quite all right with me. But since my nurses took their leave all at once, I will require your assistance. This cavity here. Hold it open for me whilst I lower the brain into place. Love Put some brain. elbow grease into it, boy! <laughs> That's better. <laughs> and a little push? Hmm, maybe this way? It's okay, it's just the bowl. We can clean it up later. Almost got it. Just a tiny bit more. It's in! We've done it, boy! So this is how you do brain transplants. It's so easy, I'm surprised people don't do it more. <laughs> hmm. Now that everything is ready, it is time for the machine. The machine? Yes, we will need to kick some life into this young lady. She's still very much dead, have you forgotten? Oh crap, I haven't really been listening. <laughs> no, I haven't forgotten. Good, because we have no more brains to spare, boy. I'll let you do the honors. 
There's a lever on the side of that chair over there. Can you see it? Just walk over to the right. I've run the wires from the chair to the body on the table. Less heavy lifting. See? Safer for our spines. That's cool now. The lever? What about it? What does it do? Pull it and we shall see. I don't really wanna. <laughs> you see like images of skeleton hands and all this kind of stuff happening in the light. Look at all these like rib cages. Okay, so last time it was a male character and it had to sit in the chair. This time it's not. I like how the new things have changed. It failed. I don't understand. Have we run out of power? Hmm, it's probably just a fuse. I'd better go and investigate it myself. And what am I supposed to do? I'm already scared of being alone with it. Hello? Hey. Hello? Where? What is. Hello? What? Oh. Stop. Whoever you are, don't come any closer. It's okay. I'm not gonna hurt you. Thank you, and I'm so very glad that you said that, but... But that's not the only problem here. I woke up, I'm butt naked, and I'm really freaking cold. I need some clothes, man. Huh? I'm not coming out until you get me something to wear. Bring me some clothes! I don't want to sit here all day. What? Oh, right. Is that Agnes? Here. Put this on. <laughs> really? A wedding dress? It is Agnes. Crack a size monster. No. Uh... I'm sorry. All the shops were closed. So you just pulled this thing out of garbage? Wow, this is so neat. How did you know? I can tell already that you and me are going to be the best of friends. I'll gladly take it back if it's not good enough for you. You can go looking for your own dress. And good luck with that. You can go looking for your own dress. Look at him all smug and condescending. You can see damn well I have no great choice here. I'd wear a chicken costume if you brought one. Then what are you moaning for? Who's moaning? You're moaning. But, okay, whatever. Fuck it. Go over there for a second and I'll put this thing on. It is Agnes. Yeah, there's blood on it. Be honest with me. Did you butcher somebody's wife-to-be to get this dress? No, of course not. Why do I not believe you? It is Agnes. How do I look? Beautiful. Like a zombie in a wedding dress. Like a, like a gypsy princess really like somebody I used to know. Disappointed I'll go reanimate somebody else now. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh. Thanks. I kind of do, don't I? I never yeah. pictured myself wearing a freaking wedding dress, but hey, I guess this could totally be my new thing. Or not. <clears throat> it's not really my color, and it's a bit tight around the waist. But I guess you can't afford to be picky. 
When you wake up covered in blood in a strange room with no recollection of who you are. I knew it was Agnes on the table. Do you at least remember your name? Do you at least remember your name? Why? Do you not know it? I figured we were friends. But now that you've asked, you could be anyone, really. A deranged psychopath, for all I know. Wait. Maybe I do know your name. Let me think. No, I didn't care enough to remember it. Sorry. I think your name was Martha. I'm pretty sure your name was Dorothy. It was something retro. Gladys, I think. Or Phyllis. Agnes! No, 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 sorry. Your name is Agnes! Hmm, no idea. I'm pretty sure your mother's name was Sheila. I'm gonna say Agnes. Your name is Agnes. Damn right it is. Cool. So, we do know each other then? Not really. A guy who runs this place told me your name. And. how did he know? So it is embroidered on your knickers. Oh, right. I forgot about that. I'm not gonna say anything. He didn't really go into details. Hmm. Maybe he was some sort of stalker? Nah. He was some sort of a doctor, I think. Yeah, a pervy sort. Playing with naked dead ladies. What a creep. How are you dead? How did you die? I can't remember, or don't want to. <laughs> it's probably one of the two, but it could be both, or neither. Please don't be crazy like everyone else around here. I'm not. I'm a nice, happy person. I just haven't decided if I trust you enough yet. What are you going to do? <laughs> I think I'm going to tag along. Okay. This room gives me the creeps. Sure. There are worse out there. Yeah, I was afraid you'd say that. But you won't let anything happen to me, right? Of course not. And what if I'm the big bad wolf? It's also and what if I am the big bad wolf? Then I guess you'll find that I'm the kind of girl who builds her houses out of bricks. <laughs> My name is Joe Davis, by the way. Oh, so you are Joe Davis. Of course, now it all makes sense. Huh? It does? I'm supposed to give you a message. A note. There was your name on it. And when I first saw it, I thought, Joe Davis? Who the fuck is Joe Davis? <laughs> and it's you! A letter? Where did you find it? I held it all scrunched up inside my hand when I... came alive. No clothes, none of my stuff. That was the only thing I had on me. So, I figured it must be important. You still got it? No, I ate it. Of course I've still got it, but... since this dress doesn't have any pockets, I hid it in here. Oh. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Can you turn around for a moment? I'll get it out. The note. I'll get the note out. <laughs> I love her. Is that okay? Too close. Just walk further away and give me a minute, okay? I'm a bit concerned. Ah! Run! Agnes, run! Agnes! Agnes! Ah! Agnes! Ah! Agnes! Protect her! Protect her! No! Protect her! Agnes! How do I protect her? Oh. What? What? <clears throat> hmm. 
What? What? Okay, what is that? We're meant to die. <laughs> I love it, you. I promise. If I ever find your wandering body, I'll send it your way. What is this? <sighs> I really don't know what to say. Huh? I don't know. What is happening? So confused. I'm locked in. Uh -oh. Who is it? Hello? The door's locked and I don't have a key. So please go away, yeah? Oh. I'm calling the police. You are. Go away. Okay. okay. Don't panic, Agnes. We need to. We need to get out of here. Fast. Like it. Like it. Like it. Run. Run. Climb out. Climb out. Shit. Blank it. Use it. Get out the window. Get out the window. Please. Oh my god. What do I do? Oh. No, fuck you. No, I like the radio on. Yeah, fuck off, whoever you are. I'm so confused. You know what? This is where we're gonna leave it for now because tension. Have a good morning, you guys.